Hi guys, today I want to share how I organize my recipe and how I make these cute dividers for my recipe binder. This is the binder I've been using for years. It's seven by nine inch. It's called a mini binder. I know it's black, it's boring, but it works for me. A glamorous alternative is、uh, this mini binder you can find in the Target dollar spot. So I like an easy recipe. That means not that many steps, not that many ingredients are involved. So this size of paper is quite enough for me. Okay, now first the cover page. I found those kitchen-related、um, prints from my scrapbook drawer, and this cookie one is pretty tempting. But I think I'm gonna go with this one because the the quote I print out from my printer will pop out in this light color better. And this is how it looks. I like it. Punch the holes and、uh, put in my binder. Next, let me show you how to make those dividers using something you probably already have in your house. For example, this file folder I got it during back to school season. It costs only twenty cents, but my daughter is not a big fan of Minnie Mouse, and we can totally use it in this project. And this one is apparently used, old, and loved. You can tell from the edge. What I love using the most are those notebook covers from my college years. As you can see, I threw away the cast notes, but I just can't let the covers go. They're so cute. Now I'm using a divider I made previously from a notebook cover as a template. I'm gonna show you how to make a template from scratch just in two minutes. It's pretty hard to see the pencil marks now, but trust me, it's there. I like cutting around the corner to make the edges round. It's just a habit. I think that's what、uh, the store-bought ones look like. Now punch the holes to make them fit in the binder. Want a, a label on this tab? So this is、uh, approximately the size of the label I want. By measuring, I think it's a one and a half inch. So I went to my computer, print something out, and I'm back. First, I inserted、um, a rectangle of this measurement I wrote down. This is my reference, and then in the same Word file, I inserted a table with all the labels I want to use. I make sure the size of the cells are approximately the size of the reference box, maybe bigger because、uh, you know I can always cut it smaller. If you have a label maker, well, your life is so easy. But I'm fine with using whatever I have right now. And here I'm using a double-sided adhesive roller. It's basically a glue, but、um, less messy, I guess. Now I got the first three dividers done.、Um, let me put them in. See how they look. Okay, this part you can totally skip if you already have a store-bought divider that you can use. They are pretty inexpensive, probably a dollar for a set of three. But I'm always about recycle, reuse, and rethink what I have. As you can see, I already traced the size of the insert paper on this cardstock. I'm not gonna change the length, but I'm gonna make it slightly wider, like a half inch wider. So. The tabs can stick out. Body lines are the original insert paper size. So I'm gonna do a one third cut tab. I measure the length. It's eight and a quarter inch, and divided by three. That's gonna take some math, but luckily. I flip the ruler over. It's in centimeter, and it's 21 centimeter. That divided by three would be seven centimeters. Yes, I can do that math. If you want to do a one fourth or even one fifth cut tabs, you'll need to adjust your math accordingly. This is a totally optional step. I like my tabs to be、um, trapezoid shape instead of the、um, rectangle shape. So here's me doing the 
extra effort. I'm gonna show you how to make the tab in the middle. So cut this part and this part out. Grab my scissors. And we are done. And we can use this. And so you can see, it does stick out a little bit. Alright, let's take a look at the dividers I have in my binder. Starting from beef, chicken and pork. And then the next would be the seafood and the pizza. I'd like to include a dinner rolls in the pizza category in the future. And the side dish. And of course, don't forget the sweet treats. Some spare pages for future recipes and a spare divider. The code I chose for the cover page, the secret ingredient is always love. Thank you so much for being here with me. Hope you got some ideas for organizing your recipe. See you next time.